Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good today. This video will contain copyrighted material being used on the Fair Use Act for educational purposes. This is a Flat Earth Network's live stream from yesterday. It was an hour and 24 minutes long. I'm probably using 10 minutes of this underneath the Fair Use Act. So I have every right to uh, Jack Larson or Tim, Tim Osman or whatever you want to call yourself, Jacob. Vigil, Mark Mars, uh, Mark Sargent, whatever you want to call yourself today, you clown. Um, so uh, it's a uh, rocket launch update. That's right, folks. Another rocket launch update. Let's have a listen to what he says here. And, and, and you know, he calls us all crazy trolls conspiracy theorists you know and all this for calling this rocket launch that's over a year late that hasn't happened yet a fraud we're all crazy for calling it a fraud let's listen to this little clown at the flat earth network okay so um anyway the reason i started this live stream was was in fact it was to talk about the uh the, uh, the update on the rocket launch Mm -hmm. Because you remember how badly the trolls reacted the trolls. about the whole thing, how mad they were. So they're going to be even more mad when they find out that the coverage it's going to get next is going to be even bigger. There's going to be another set of Associated Press uh, releases equivalent to or greater than the ones that we saw over Thanksgiving. And it's going to be accompanied by an NBC story. And it's going to be accompanied by the launch vertical. So that should be interesting. What's up? Yeah, that should be interesting, huh? That's right, folks. The jump is now not a horizontal distance jump. It's a vertical jump. Here's uh, Infinite Plane Society. Now he calls himself the Flat Earth Network. You know, he's called himself Jack Larson. Like I say, many different names. The guy's a fraud. He won't even give you his real name, and he wants to raise thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars underneath a fake name for him and uh, Mad Mike Hughes. <laughs> so anyways, he this guy writes a blog about the upcoming launch and acts like it's uh, a mainstream news story. But let's listen to this update. Okay, so Mad Mike Flat Earth Rocket Launch, now a vertical jump. So it's not a distance jump, it's a vertical jump. Now there a is vertical. Blue, uh, wrench. The Research Flat Earth Group, and that's us. We're the Research Flat Earth Group. Um, that sponsored Mad Mike Hughes is now backing up his upcoming stunt, a vertical launch from a steam-powered rocket. Uh, this event will be the subject of worldwide media attention and will build upon the buzz already created. Fantastic Boy says, I'm sorry, but I could care less about the Mad Mike launch. <laughs> um, maybe you don't recognize the potential for what it can do in terms of taking away the parameters of this discussion, the definition of, you know, like they define the parameters. It's controlled opposition, planetary society or flat earth society, or one of their celebrities, one of their robots, one of their pieces on the game board. And if you don't want the powers that should not be to dictate what is and how things are defined, well, then you ought to, you know, interject yourself into that story and F it up. And that's kind of what we've done. So now anytime there's a mainstream media story that talks about Kyrie Irving, B.O.B., or any of these others, they drag Mad Mike's name into it. They do. And I would say there's more to talk about with Mike than the others. And the story's still developing. He didn't just drop the F-bomb and leave it at that like these other guys. No, he's actually advocating uh, researching not only Flat Earth, but your city council, various psyops, and everything else. And so, no, I look at this as a major PR victory for what we're doing. I look at this as an embarrassment to the Flat Earth community. I mean, you done did raised almost $8,000 for this rocket launch. This never happened. It's had over a dozen cancellations. And Mad Mike was supposed to launch this same freaking rocket over a year ago. But now you can't, you're deciding that 
the rocket can't go uh, horizontal, so it's going to go vertical now, straight up. That rocket ain't never going to fly, folks. If you see a video of it flying, that video is going to be CGI. Okay? There's a real rocket. This, this shit that, that, that IPS is saying people called it CGI. Wow. People say a lot of stupid shit in the comment section. I never called it CGI. I called it a freaking prop, a stage prop. I said it'll never, never fly. This was them loading it up. Look at how ass heavy this thing is. And it doesn't have the 70 gallons of water, which would add almost another 500 pounds to the weight of this rocket. Let's watch this video. You see how freaking heavy that is? It ain't even got the water in it yet. The most heavy, heaviest element of the whole build. <laughs> and I told you that, that, that ramp he built, it do the same thing. This thing's never going to fly. It, it doesn't have the strength of, of the of propulsion needed to launch it vertically either. This is the stage prop, people. It's not CGI. Quit trying to say people are calling it CGI, IPS, Ma or uh, uh, freaking Flat Earth Network. But there you go. It's going vertical now. And this is IPS here calling this a monumental achievement. So have a listen to this nonsense. The rocket is also a big FU to the space agencies, both uh, private and public, um, because, you know, Mike has actually gone on record saying that, you know, it's pretty much likely that Elon Musk is using airships or blimps with jet propulsion. Nobody's done that. Nobody's ever done that. And, and, they've been, and they called Mad Mike Rocket Man all Thanksgiving weekend. Do you know what the name of Elon Musk's autobiography is, in his own words? rocket man elon musk in his own words like what you know i think he was one upped and that's why he had his little spectacle pr stunt last week i think it was just to kind of compete so yep that's the reason why this is very important <laughs> so anyway his message is clear he's an ordinary man doing an extraordinary thing uh, his self-made rocket is a monumental achievement and an ingenious feat of engineering our goal in this campaign is to support Mad Mike Hughes and get his message out to the spectators who are quite rightfully stunned by the audacity of the event. No, we're stunned at the ignorance of you all. I mean, get real. We don't go around thinking that SpaceX launches or blimps, jet-powered jet blimps. Get real. They're freaking launches that you see on, on, on TV or the on YouTube. It's CGI, man. It's all crap CGI from start to finish. I'm sure they launched something in fucking Cape Canaveral just to fool the locals. But it doesn't match up with what you see on TV. What you see on TV is CGI, not blimps. That's absurd going around calling the rockets blimps get real monumental moment but it doesn't end there folks since the jumps not going horizontal anymore and now it's going vertical I guess they need more money let's have a listen to IPS here um, so here's what I've done because you know this and I did this for two reasons um, one I was like hey you know you you're getting a lot of attention there's a lot of people who want to support what you're doing and he's like his take on it was like I'm not very media savvy he's got a store he doesn't even run and I'm like well you got people who want to support you you can do a lot with five thousand dollars in terms of promoting this thing buying you know investing in flat research flat earth products you know giving them to distributors we have all kinds of ideas 
all kinds of things he could do. He might need the money for construction. So I was like, well, let's set up another GoFundMe to follow up on the first one. And this is also a way to give a big middle finger to the trolls and the haters who called us frauds and said that we weren't really going to do this. So there's the link. I'm still calling you a fraud. You're not going to do this. That thing's never going to launch. If it, is, if it does, like I said, it's going to be just like uh, Fake X, and it's going to be CGI. And here you go. They want another $5,000 from the Flat Earth community. That's right, folks. Another five grand needed for this launch that Mike wants. He made that TV deal. So if he made the TV deal, he should have got money with that TV deal. Why does he need money from other people? Let's check this shit out. Here you go. Here's the GoFundMe page. Just recently opened up. December 28th, yesterday. The goal, $5,000. There's a little clown here. Notice how they both got the same nose. I mean, you could put that nose on Mike and you would never know the difference. I think this is his dad. He had to pay child support. Man, but there you go, folks. And then here you go. This one is still open. The original one they raised the money for is still open. They haven't even la launched a rocket yet. They want a total of almost $13,000 for this fraud that they're still perpetuating amongst the flat earth community. It's utter nonsense. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday and a happy new year. Until next time, have a good day.